what's going on everyone welcome back to the channel if you're new subscribe and if you're back smash that like button and before i give you guys my final thoughts here on djt just as a quick reminder i will be going live here tomorrow on the channel 10 a.m central time with a special guest by the name of alpha trader with that being said ladies and gentlemen catch you guys there and make sure you set that notification bell on all so you will be notified when the live stream starts so far as djt goes as you all know we are looking for a gamma squeeze to take place here tomorrow now in order to understand my final thoughts you must know what is really going on and only way to understand that you have to know what a market maker is ladies and gentlemen and what is their job basically a market maker is here to keep liquidity in the market that is why it's you're able to always buy and or sell a stock all right and the basically the market maker is making their money on the split so if we go here and check our related stocks really quickly and we just look at the bid and ask spread basically the spread between the ask and the bid so the market maker is basically trying to buy your shares at a seventeen dollars and thirty six cent and they're trying to sell shares at seventeen forty two these are the two prices that you actually hit that gets your order field right away and basically the market maker is making money on that um difference there that is basically where they're making their bread and butter they don't care about if the stock is going up or down they're basically market neutral with that so with that being said knowing that this is the most important thing here this is where the gamma squeeze come into to effect and i need everyone to pay very close attention i'm going to explain this as easy as possible okay so with that being said the 30 dollar strike 30 dollar price target it was very important here today and the reason being is because those same market makers that sell these contracts to people like you and i have to basically cover so for instance if they don't have the amount of shares on hand then they have to go and buy these shares to cover these call options if they are in the money the only time that they do not have to do that is if they are looking to expire worthless if it is under 30 then this contract will expire worthless and they do not have to cover those shares basically each contract has a hundred in it so guys you do the math that's over a hundred thousand shares right but get this if we were to be over the 30 dollars, then that would put pressure on tomorrow's trading for those market makers to go out and buy those shares now by buying those shares is ultimately going to push the share price up correct now it's funny that we did actually fall under 30 dollars here today slightly 10 cent but not only that if we did actually go above that 30 dollars here let's say if we would have closed around 33 dollars now this is very important if you guys notice the 30 dollar strike is the highest open interest strike price here on the 10 18 expiration now what comes after that is 35 dollars now the reason why the 35 dollar mark is so important ladies and gentlemen is because that 30 dollar strike alone being covered could have put a mo enough momentum in djt to actually cover the 35 dollars share price as well which can ultimately cause a snowball effect and those market makers will be responsible to pay for all of those shares now of course that's something that they do not want to do and a lot of people may try to point the finger to mar market manipulation but we're not going to talk about that here on the channel um but far as that's basically what's going on here that's why we slightly fail under um thirty dollars here and if we do close above thirty dollars here tomorrow let's say this thing go around thirty four dollars um that thirty dollar strike we may see market makers start scrambling to buy shares in the mar open market to actually start covering some of again those contracts which can ultimately pit even more momentum and then that's when we cross thirty five dollars right which is the second highest open interest contract we don't even see numbers this high leading all the way until after the election okay these are the two highest open interest contracts here 
um, all the way up, well, all the way in throughout the whole entire 2024. So very interesting what's going on here. And my final thoughts, ladies and gentlemen, we do see a bank or break situation for the Gamma Squeeze to take place here. As you guys, as I showed you the numbers. Um, with that being said, um, it can go either way. All right. I just told you what we're looking to actually see here. We want to see this thing actually get between that $31 and $34. This is something that I've been calling for. We really wanted the 34 to 37 which would have put us in that sweet spot to actually see that gamma squeeze unfold. But slightly closing under $30 here today isn't something that sits right with me but with that being said ladies and gentlemen look for tomorrow see a bullish day here in djt um we have been seeing this back and forth pattern here these last three consecutive trading days we have set higher lows okay even though we have set lower low lower highs as well but we did set higher lows as you guys can see here that's a very great sign we may be coming into a consolidation period here in djt but i do want to let you guys know each and every day closer and towards the election djt comes with even more risk so again if you were a part of the discord and you did catch this thing around 12 dollars, you may want to lock in some of those gains and let some of that house money um be your gamble from here um, I want to know your price target, ladies and gentlemen, post-election. How high do you think DJT can go after the election if Donald Trump is elected? Um, if you made it this far in the video, I want to just thank you guys um, as well. Um, I would know for those that actually do put that price target in the comments section. And like I said before... Uh, make sure you guys check out that live stream. I will be going live here tomorrow, okay? 10 a.m. Central Time. We're trying to get this live stream to 250 likes. So if you made it this far in the video, make sure you get over to the home page. Click this here. Leave a like on the video and see you guys tomorrow. Want to know how to sign up for the Discord? Well, click the video on the left. And if you do want to subscribe to my main YouTube channel, click the channel link in the middle and check out my latest video on the right.